Welcome back to the transformation of this horse trailer to a mobile bar. And this part two of this series is start with a lot of stamina. When I mean a lot, it's a lot. It was like four cuts of pain on this trailer. It wasn't because a friend came to help on my husband. I don't think I will have finished to grind in one day. So, side note, if you're ever gonna grind a horse trailer, remember to wear the proper protection. And uh, respirator, ear protection, and glasses, please. Like I said, a level grinding was involved in this episode. And in the middle of it, a storm catches up, so we had to put the tarp in to be able to keep grinding. Because we were really focused on grinding a lot that day. We were perseverant about it. This day we ground like the bottom half of the trailer. And then we start a rust encapsulator treatment for the panels. They were a little bit rusty and like we just work on the weekend on these. We didn't want a rust to come back. So we clean up and paint this encapsulator until the following weekend. Here we have our trailer. This cover is kind of draining a little bit. And today's like day, I don't know, maybe 10. We're working on it. And today we're gonna, we have all this barom treated with a rust encapsulator right there. Hi, a kitty. Hi, kitty. No, uh -huh. so today we're gonna try to treat all from this up and let's see if we can get to the ceiling. I'm not sure because I'm not too tall, but we'll try. Yeah, this was a rust encapsulator, looks like it worked pretty well. And it drip a little bit, but say it was supposed to. Also, I think my husband put too much on it, but meal yeah, well, it's super nice, smooth. So, so let's start working. If you ever try to grind the top of a trailer, don't do my setup. That's totally no safe. It was kind of wobbly. Then after a while, I got tired of grinding, and I decided to open the window. It's not so good at paint. If you look at me all confident using this grinder here, but don't let me fool you. On this project, it was the first time I ever touched a grinder in my life. And it wasn't that complicated to get a hold of it. Just respect the tools because they're powerful. But be confident that you will be able to handle them around. Bye bye. So I think I want to open more that window. I think it's too small. So I'm gonna cut it until the end, pretty much, until it's with the with this door. And I think this is my favorite part of the video. Kind of reminded me when I was little and my brother used to call me destroyer because I love to destroy stuff in the house. Kind of get in trouble sometimes. But uh, here you clearly can see I'm destroying something. Kind of making an honor to my nickname. But this time I promise I'm gonna build something out of it. My task after seeing this big hole here was like, dang it, I think I opened it too big. But on my defense, all the trailers I saw had like a super big serving window. So we'll see what happens, but I think it's quite big. 
kind of like it. I'm scared, but kind of like it. So, we have two ideas. We either want to make this like an extendable deck, to make like an extended serving area, but we made a decision that we're gonna take it out, we're gonna get rid of this, and we're gonna use, make a really nice burn the door here. That will, that will serve as like a backdrop for some pictures. Uh, I think it will be easier that time to keep this one. Also because we have a frame, the frame is a little broader on this side, so I, we want to put less weight on it. So I think the bottom will be a better go-to. So this is will be coming out today, I think. Okay. I'm not sure yet. I don't know what I'm doing. After trying to understand the way the spring work in this ramp, we're trying to looking for the safe way to take take it out without kind of having that spring jumping on us. Uh, we try with you know just get the bolts out, but we find out that at the end of the bolt they have like a weld. So for we try and we try. Well, my husband try and try, and it was really hard to. Uh, to get those bolts out and I keep telling him let's just use the grinder we're not gonna use this anymore and he said no I'm gonna mend it up and do it with the bolts and we try I mean he try I kind of give up and just sit down and wait and yeah we just try take the bolts out but what's not happening they have a weld on them Finally, after trying for a long time, he's much off. Let me use the grinder. That is my new favorite tool. And ta-da! We cut that off. I actually don't know how is the name of those things. I just know they were attached to the spring for the ramp. And then we had to cut the hinges that oh surprise! They also were walled on the trailer. But then after just grinding it off, everything was just easy. We just grind, grind, grind until we get cut through the hinges and we were able to take the other off. Taking down the door and opening the window was a fun break, but we were not done with grinding. I mean, it took us a couple more days to finish this. And this was painful, endless, was the worst part of the project so far. But we just had to keep grinding and grinding and grinding. Hoping to finish grinding today. We still have the ceiling to grind, and it looks like it's taking forever. Hopefully, we we'll finish grinding, treat the rods, and move on to the next stage. So I'm not sure which one is the next stage, but we'll figure it out. I gotta say, grinding probably saved us a couple days to go to the gym and do back and arms workouts because we were sore as hell the next day.
After finally finishing the ceiling, we moved to the doors, that was the last part. And after a grinder dead, because we burned it out, I have done something to say. Use the cheapest grinder you find in the market, because the nice cordless one for this job just lasts like 15 minutes tops. So use the cheaper one, 40 bucks for Harbor Freight, and you get the job done. And if it dies, you just buy another one that is cheap. The day before we blew off the dust from the grinding with our compressor gun, and here Danny just giving it a quick power wash before we start painting. We just dry off the, the panels with a, with a rag and use some degreaser before painting. Uh, finally, we start painting the ceiling and giving it um, rust treatment using a rust encapsulator to prevent further rust. And this was the most satisfactory part of the project until the moment. Just seeing it all finish it up, rust treated, it was just amazing. We know we have still a long ways to go, but we are happy with what we have done so far and what we are learning. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for part three of this process. I um, don't even know what it's gonna be part three. Maybe some body work, welding, I don't know. Just stay tuned and we'll figure it out together.